Hello. Let's go ahead and look close up on the 3D Light Creator Pro application. Um, this is a nice tool which allowed us to modify and control and receive information of individual pixels based on their color space and their luminosity. It is a very powerful tool. It's a little bit um, specific tool so it does not allow a lot of like editing it's modifying and working with the colors but what it does is actually one of the most powerful very few tools that is make me kind of excited or um surprised but this is one of that make my jaw drop down from how much these applications can do if you're not familiar with uh, what this lot it is it's a lookup table which is reference each pixels and uh, first when you open this application you'll notice with all the settings and one thing i need to tell you that it does get overwhelmed even you're familiar with some of this terminology and everything but for example right here if we look on color we have it color space lab amps all these different um some of the same yk rgb most people will realize but recognize but we have it all this hcp and all these different type so also we have it all these channels volumes um it looks like spider <laughs> spider web a b controlling cl we have curves mask and all all of these different tools beside that if we there are even more so if we open additional windows and we're going to open all this histogram and analyzers everything you get kind of overwhelmed with this and it's reason for this because this is a tool it's not your Photoshop elements or other basic one. It is tools that target more professional market or professionals who work with the colors and want to create very great result. However, the nice things about what I found is tools, you don't necessarily need to be professional. Um, it, you need to have at least intermediate level of understanding some of this kinds of work, but it is also provided with the presets and other things you can apply those effects very easy um, even this is work with the image it is not uh, work necessarily just with Photoshop you can also create a lots lookup tables for uh, unity for any other applications that will use it same theme which is very nice so I can do for the film and Adobe Premiere I can use it for single image I can use it for video game so it's kind of nice how you can create it so let's look what is a lot is I can explain and it's take probably all tutorial a lot of time to do this however I will recommend you to go to 3d lot creator website this is site uh, from creators of this application and one thing what they've done and this is tell you true it's actually quite a bit rare to find application on the scale which have this amount nice tutorials done um, you just go inside the tutorials and you find right here I have a very good explanation so I will highly recommend for you to watch this first what is lot is it's very well done very well explained so you have an overall understanding of what it is stands and does as well you can go over all of these tutorials which explain all these color models all these uh, effects it's how I say it quite a bit uh, tutorials but they go in details and they done a very good job um, give you what a tool can done so this is one thing if you want to do I highly recommend for you to go and watch these tutorials so after you kind of understand we can look on applications but right here I don't want to say create tutorials I have it in mind create few of them um, in some unusual or other ways to how you can use this application and I do like create my tutorials that is um, project based but right now in the, this uh, review I want to just see what I like and what is kind of don't like how is it complexity in some elements in UI design a little bit on the hard to understand when you start working with this and I understand point why it's done because you want to take all this complexity and functionality and squeeze in a, as much space you can however uh, some of those elements they could done a little bit better for example some of the adjustment of the windows it's not um, in a way that I would like I would done but again this is all personal preferences what I do like it 
it is how the application for example this one interact as example with photoshop so right here we have it photoshop and i have an image um, usually what I do, I'm going inside and I go filters and you can select all these different filters when you want to apply it and you can send image between this. So with a lot of application, you don't necessarily, you don't need to do this. It will actually by itself hook up to Photoshop and extract and even make it better. Many times when, for example, you create image and I want to apply filter, I go and filter for example, a little launch and it will take this current selected layer. So what's happening if I create a uh, vignetting as example? So let's go ahead and create one. So I'll just create a very simple vignetting and I want for, for this reason, I want to use it uh, adjustment layer. So it's not even combined. So it's some adjustment layer and you notice it is selected right here and um, So we'll just add the text as well. Like right there. So what's happening if I adjust it? It will take these specific layers. Many times what's happening, you need to take those layers, combine to one if you want them, that effect applied to all of them. What I do like about 3D LUT right here, you can notice on the bottom, we have it save 3D LUT. So you save your um, presets and image from and image to Photoshop. So let's click image from Photoshop. You notice it takes a little bit of time, but what it does, it did take all those layer, combine like almost command Alt Shift E or Control Alt Shift E, combine all of them and make one image for me. So this is a very nice approach. On this point, I can go ahead and uh, modify, you know, just make adjustment a little bit, reduce saturation. Uh, make her look like a Hulk. Okay, green. Doesn't matter. We'll just let me just go adjust a little bit more. So we can adjust all of these images. And you know what? Let me go just a little bit more. Bluish. You know what? Let's do very extreme. So we'll just take. There you go. So we can recognize we did modify some image. So after modification, when you're done, you click LUT to Photoshop and you notice what it does. It's actually created a special adjustment layer for me, which is a huge benefit. It does not apply to anything. If I want to go to back and I want to modify, of course, there's all additional layers that not affected. This is just adjustment layer uh, native in Photoshop, which is preloading this color lookup table for me. Um, this is very useful. Uh, several reasons how I say it's non-destructible, it's shareable. I can use it in other one batch processing or other areas if I need it. Of course, you can enable, disable, and work with as usual Photoshop, apply even opacity of these adjustment layers. So this is a very nice interaction and it's a huge, huge plus in a way how the application work with this okay so let's go look back on what application can done by itself you'll notice how i said before we have it right here all this information with the image selecting and um we're gonna have it we can have a big tutorials and i do recommend go check them because we can select colors we can select adjustment picker colors overall you'll notice we have a different ways we can access our color space okay. i do like this spider kind of web looking because it is um, allowed me to look on the colors and as well when I go inside the image on the right side you can see how it does select and showing me where my colors laying we can let's switch to a bit higher resolution so I put it 32 so then you can see how it's going around notice on the middle right this area where we have it highlight this is where most my colors and luminosity and saturation is laying. So right in this area. And of course, when you create, like you select one specific color. Okay, so let's select this area. We of course can modify and adjust. We can just drag them around if we need it. And you can see her lips saturation increase, decrease. Or we can also apply specifically 
with just the buttons like increase luminosity on the lips gamma adjustment and all of this so this is very precise very nice tool that allowed select just individual um, pixels based on the values and modify move them around adjustment um, other things what I find for me specifically what I'm doing very um, nice it's useful it is this dual panel which allowed to me work with the shadows kind of and with highlights so in this case I can separate and create a dual tone or triple tone again check the tutorials what they have it online about how to to do this how to modify them but overall it's very simple you just select specific colors like highlight and you can make warmer and you create darker colors so you have this nice beautiful palettes um, that apply for your image before for example when i need to do that in a previous usually i do create um, curves we'll go to colors just showing very fast what you can do here and you notice i'm just say selecting a blue channel rgb take shadows pop up we'll take middle down so kind of like this see i can create this tonal um effect which is add just slightly theme and this is based on the image and i have some limitation how i do this because i'm affecting all of this based on the image kind of um affecting for example just red channel or this one again if we go with lot to do this i can just take specific for example all of this areas and you know what let me do faster for this we'll just switch to the eight still be much faster but i can affect just the shadows saturation everything effect and not a second more accurate more precise affecting this way okay and of course we can compare them before and after two images see how right here a bit more accurate and gentle applying of some of this correction so overall um this is a quite a bit powerful tool that you do need to spend a little bit time to learn how it's work but when you're mastering and when you understand all of these settings that will provide you with an unbelievably powerful professional tool that you can use in your work and uh, very few tools that I do says you must have at least one of them. If you are a professional uh, retoucher, that is definitely a must to have it. If you're a photographer or a videographer who like to create all the specific uh, view, this is again tool you must to have it. And again, um, if you want to create market or sell some looks like on a, a Unity store, a set store or other things, this is can provide very good income by creating all these different looks uh, different fields and cells so this is actually very nice professional done tool and i definitely get it a plus plus on my scale of the um, image adjustments creation tools okay for more information if you need this uh, i'll recommend for you to go and check this website 3d lot creator um they have it sales um one time or another so you can go ahead and uh, wait for discounts when you purchase program or download it free trial and if i'm right they have it all these different versions you can download it and try and see how they work if it will work again for you this applications um try it see use it i will recommend for you to purchase if you um not yet done because it's a very powerful tool be sure you're going inside the tutorials and view all of them because they do help you jump start and start working with this application a lot and i'm going also as usual i'm going to create my tutorials based on this but it will be mostly project based so we'll take specific image and we will work on the tonal adjustments matching specific styles uh, how we can share probably going inside the unity and loading a lot of tables there just see how it can go around and as well um, how we can actually use it this lot to um, 
optimize and create better masking tools for the Photoshop um, because I do a lot of compositing work and in this case we can go and create that specific masking when it's hard to do just adjusting some of those colors and moving them and I will provide the links inside the video if you're watching on YouTube or in the comments also all the links that you may be needed for going and preview or downloading this application.